Kim and Clovon. Uh, right off the back, Kim is taking shots. You're going to see, he's going to lift his leg up in a second here. He's just going to press while Long, look at that, shoots it out. That's what I was talking about right there. He kind of hangs the leg out there. Just under one minute, still 0-0. Zero, zero. Korea versus Thailand. Korean blue, Thailand in red. Good action attempt. We saw that in the semifinals from Pong Pong. Definitely able to extend his right leg. So far, Kim hasn't been able to find the mark. Actually, very unusual. Up until this point, he's been able to get a big lead early, kind of do what he wants to do. But uh, Tayyip is no slouch, knows how to fight these big matches, not worried about the length, and has kept it to zeros, approaching 10 seconds in the first round. Good attempt there, but uh, came up a little short. Right on it, not being fooled. So, at the end of round number one, it's 0 0. This is uh, unfamiliar territory for Kim, I'll tell you that right now. Kim is used to getting a couple face points early and just sitting back and picking off at, you know, shorter opponents. But Klumpong is definitely long enough to, to kind of spar with him with the front leg. Let's see what adjustments the, uh, the Korean athlete makes. He hasn't had to make many this event. All right, here we go. Round number two, zero, zero. Kim Lamiel, under 59 kilo, weight category. There's a jump spinning back kick, counter attempt. Wasn't close. Kim was able to knock him off balance. Look at that front leg is just so long. Both of these guys. There's a nice change of, okay, so Kim now has changed his stance back to his normal stance. Right leg in front. I mean, I'm not gonna say he's right leg dominant, but he likes the right leg, but he can do them both. He can utilize them both. And the interesting thing is he hasn't shown it yet, but he could actually do some traditional Taekwondo. The back leg roundhouse kick, a spinning back kick. A double kick. But the modern style is that long front leg flopping it out there like that. You see a little register on the board. Oh, look at that. That was beautiful. Body, face, body, and he scored. He tried to do it again. Use the front leg to the body, flopped it to the face, and came down. That's what you need to do because everyone's hypersensitive of the face. They know you're good at that. Make them get their head out of the way. Make them lift their hands to block the face shot and come down to the body. That was a beautiful, beautiful strategy. Gave himself a slim one point lead. That should be a deduction. He's just bailing out of there. Not a big fan of that. You know, your instinct tells you when you see something to roll out of it. I think it's deemed avoiding the fight, but I think survival. Finding a way to avoid the attack without running or diving or falling. He's still in the field of play. I don't see what the problem is. All right, so comes down to this again. The theme of the tournament, ladies and gentlemen, has been finals are close. Everyone tightens up a little bit. And once again, we only have a one point lead for the Korean, Kim over Klumpong from Thailand. Thailand coming out strong, puts some pressure now, picking up the action. But well, we always see this, when people pick up the action, put the pressure on, they can inevitably run into a front leg and a front leg face kick. And 
Green's accurate there. There's a jump punch. We saw this counterpart female athlete try that a couple times and was rewarded for it. But he was off the mark there. We're under one minute. Still a one point lead. <laughs> Nothing is safe. We saw someone lose in the last three seconds. Last match. We saw the Korean before that lose in the last nine seconds to the Croatian. Whoa! There's a face shot. There's the extension that I said he had the ability to do. He threw it out there in just one last little push. Scored the face shot. There's a side kick for good measure. It's a five point lead. This match is going to be very difficult to win for the Thai athlete. Oh, there's one Kyungo there for the second one of the match. It's going to make it a 5 1 deficit. Four points, 25 seconds left. A lot of straight line side kicks now from the Korean. Once he knocks him off balance, he'll throw that second round kick right there. There's always two kicks. Side kick on the back, scored. Six to one. That was a nice spinning hook kick you know, attempt. Going for the four points. There's again, the side kick on the back in the middle of the turn. And there's a world championship. For that young man from Korea, Suk Bae Kim, gold medalist for Korea. Kong Pong will have to settle for the silver. Not shabby at all. That's two the silver. Is Thailand back to back. Korea! Good for this program. And expect such high results. Sometimes a little bit more. That young man looks young there. Suck Pei Kim taking a lap and around the ring. Our last a gold medal. It's junior male author, 63 kilogram category. Representing the uh, 12, it's Korabaskava Sozo from 